Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is There Bagga and today I'm showing you one of the games that I played yesterday. I was playing here as black and it ended up very beautifully. Now let's begin with this game. Open starts with e3. I respond c6. Open goes with knight c3. I went with d5. Open plays b3 there, trying to free and kill the bishop from b2. And I developed my bishop onto f5. Open goes bishop b2. And I play e6 here. Open plays a knight to f3. Again, not sure where the opponent is willing to castle because the opponent has been developing from both the sides. I went with knight to f6. Open plays h3, preventing any moves like bishop to g4 that would pin the knight. And I developed the other knight as well to d7. Now open plays a3, trying to again make sure that the other bishop is not annoying too. And here I developed the bishop onto d6. Open plays d3 now. Very restricted kind of an opening if you see. Open didn't cross third rank with any of the pieces. And here I plant my queen on c7. Uh, I am eyeing this wonderful diagonal. And open plays queen to d2 now. Preparing to maybe castle on the queen side. So I thought, okay, let me wait and not castle. So I just played bishop to g6. Waiting, just a waiting move. Getting my bishop backwards is a good move. It's, 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 it's waiting. And I'm waiting for open to see where the open will castle. Open goes for g3, trying to maybe put the bishop onto uh, g2 as well. But here I found, spotted a weakness in the open structure, which is the spawn. Uh, but firstly, I, I tried to attack the knight with my bishop, which is not defended, which open defense with the bishop. And now I go for the weakness, taking on the pawn on g3. Open takes back. And now my queen gets active, attacking the king. King side steps, no other option. And now I take the knight, open takes, uh, cannot take back. Uh, because if the open does take, I take with the queen and then the rook will be hanging as well. So here comes queen e1, trying to exchange the queens. And now uh, I can take either the bishop uh, or the queen, but I thought taking with the queen is better. Because after I do take, open will not take with the king, uh, but with the rook here. Uh, and then I can take the bishop as well. Uh, otherwise, the rook is also hanging. So open took with the rook. I take the, with the bishop. And now I'm I'm about to spoil the casting or open has to take with the knight or the rook. Open decides to take with the knight, which uh, puts the knight backwards. And now I castle on the queen side because uh, there is a lot of space for my pawns to go on the queen side. Here my opponent went with rook to g1, attacking the pawn. And I defended with rook to g8. Oh, I could have played pawn forward as well, but... I don't want to be on the diagonals uh, as same as the bishop there. So now I open plays uh, king to d2, connecting both the rooks. I went with rook to e8, open plays uh, knight to f4, and I pushed the pawn, center pawn now, which is defended as well twice, uh, and attacked only once. Open has to go back with the knight, and now I push for e4. I could have played d4 as well, but that's weakening because open has more attackers. And after I play e4, now if my opponent will willingly plays uh, d4, I'm more than happy because the bishop will be inactive as well, standing against its own pawn. So here, uh, open plays knight to f4, didn't do anything about the pawn situation. I take the pawn, open takes back with the knight. And now I give a check with the knight e4, open moves. And now I play g6, so that there was a couple of pieces attacking it right now, so I had to save the pawn. Open gets the rook on to f1, allows me to play f5, uh, further developing my pawns on uh, to the uh, king side there. Open puts knight on to f4, and now I went with the other knight to c5. Open pushes for the pawn forward, and here I attack the bishop by keeping knight on a4. Now, uh, bishop comes on to d4, attacking a pawn. I don't want to give anything, I just place a6. And now open starts pushing h4, and here comes the check. Asking open to trade off the bishop for the knight, but open denies and just moves the king. Uh, here I come back, again attacking the bishop. And now bishop back to b2. I pushed for the pawn onto c5, which now open takes on the d pawn uh, with the knight. And now I pin the knight for the time being. Open pushes king onto c4. Uh, and here comes a fork. Finally, I was waiting with my knight somewhere to have a fork eventually. And got it here. Open takes the pawn. I take the rook. Open takes back. And now in this position, I thought, what? how should I continue this game? 
ideally I should just sidestep with my king, put my rook on the c file, maybe grab the extra pawn later on, uh, can lead to some checkmating patterns from here as well. But I thought, okay, let me simplify because the knights can be tricky. So I took on the knight with the rook, uh, going the exchange down, because, but I had extra pawns. Uh, and open pawn structure was quite weak, isolated pawns, not helping him, and I was in control. So I went with now a rook to e8, cutting down the king from the e file, open plays rook f3, defending the pawn. And now I went with a rook to e4, attacking the other pawn as well, open now pushes for the pawn. Now if I take, I lose the other pawn as well, which is bad. I thought let opponent take and I can take back with my pawn on from h to g. Now I place my king onto d7, uh, open goes with a rook to g3, and now I spotted a checkmating pattern here. I've cut down the file, uh, the rank and the file. Opponent's king is only here, so if I can give a check and also cut off the square on c5, that would be made. So I first played b6, looks kind of a slow move, and the opponent of course didn't notice what's happening there. Opponent takes the pawn, thinking it's a free pawn, and here comes the checkmate from knight to c7. A beautiful checkmate with the knight, uh, thanks to the pawn and the rook controlling everything else. Uh, and king, of course, taking participate uh, in, the, in the checkmate because by uh, blocking the king coming from the sixth rank as well. Finally, knight to c7 uh, is a beautiful checkmate here. Uh, checkmating the opponent on to d5. Strange ending to the game. And I was playing a stronger rated opponent as well, 2107. So I enjoyed it. I thought I'll share with you all guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.